Oh, I'm at the airport. Um, and I'm kind of a little bit early. I'm kind of, it's about, so it's quarter past seven. My flight's at 9.55 at night. Um, I'm a bit tired. Uh, it's been a kind of really long and quite intense week. Really good though. I don't want to go home. Um, but it's fine, I'm coming back, like I said. Uh, but, yeah, um, I came a little bit earlier. Because also sometimes, you know, security can be more difficult or can take longer. So just in case. But also I've got a bit of work to do that I've got to do before I um, before I go. Um, so it'd be good too. And also I can charge my phone um, uh, on my computer and things like that. So that's always good. Um, it's a bit of a weird feeling. Um, I feel really at home in Tel Aviv now, actually. It's only been a week. It's a bit weird. Uh, but I'm looking forward to seeing my doggy. And, um, yeah, trying to sort everything out. I'm a little bit worried uh, that the transfer for the money hasn't gone through. But I'm going to try and find out what's going on with that. Because it definitely showed me, like, I have a screen grab of, of it going through. Um, so I'm going to get on with some work. I've also got to buy a secret Santa for someone, which I was going to do in you know, in Tel Aviv, but, uh, um, but I didn't. <laughs> and also things I don't know who, I don't, like, the person I've got to do it for, I don't know her really. Uh, I've never met her, because I work from home, so I don't know her. Uh, but uh, I'll find something, there must be something duty free, something that looks vaguely exotic with foreign looking writing or whatever, which I know would say that it's obviously me, but uh, yeah. But I'm kind of looking forward to getting back in a lot of ways. Um, but I'm really, really looking forward to starting now. Like, I'm less nervous. I sort of know what I'm going to do. I'm, I've got a plan. I'm a bit worried about money. Um, so I'm going to have to scrimp and save a little bit now. Uh, like I've been doing, but like even more, I think. Um, I think I am going to end up taking stuff. Over. I'm going to look into it. Uh, but in the conclusion of... Um, inclusion of the week like it's been an amazing week really uh, in the grand scheme of things just meeting people and kind of starting that network and uh, everyone's so like helpful and everyone I meet is just so lovely and sort of really wants to sort of help you with everything and like oh you've got a friend I've got a friend you might be able to do this and blah 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 it's, it's, it's a kind of really like giant community feeling um, So I'll get on with some work and uh, then I guess get a plane and go back to the UK. Ugh. <laughs> oh my God, it is so cold. <laughs> Look, I mean, sorry, I'm gonna have a snow. I've just had the worst flight <laughs> and I've landed here and it's bloody freezing, it's like three degrees or something and I think I kind of forgot <laughs> and of course I dressed, you know, when I came out I was like oh I'll wear a coat because it's a bit chilly outside and then I'll take the coat off when I get to Israel but then it's like so much colder, like it's only been a week and it's like so much, in fairness it's like one o'clock in the morning, so three o'clock in the morning is our time. I tried to sleep and failed, <laughs> failed. I mean, I think I got some sleep to be fair, but I was um, surrounded by this like Haredi family and they were just really rude and like, like one guy was like, literally trod on my tough feet like four times. I was like, mate, can you not see me? I was like, can you not feel my foot underneath your foot? <laughs> like, just don't do it. And he was kept, every time, I, I, like, he woke me up by treading on my foot. Which, by the way, was not in the aisle. It was underneath the seat. So, it, like, I'm cramped up, and he tread on my foot. And I was like, just sit down. Just sit down. And then he was like, sorry, I was like, just sit down. <laughs> um, and then uh, another guy... I, fell, I woke up, and he was like leaning on me, like literally his body was like on me. I was like, do you not feel that? Like, you're like on my head. And he's like, oh, sorry. I was like, just, just don't do it. <laughs> anyway, 
all done now. I'm here, back in lovely Luton. Um, I've got to wait for a bus. Um, and uh, to the Long Stay car park, which is where my car is. And then I've got to drive home. Uh, I'm a bit tired. Um, and I'm really cold. But I'm looking forward to seeing my only dog. My dog. I'm looking forward to seeing him. I miss him. And I've, then I've just got to get, get going. I'm giving my notice in tomorrow. I've got stitches to be taken out tomorrow. I've had like 12 stitches after the operation I had, which I've just been walking around with. Oh, and I think my bus is coming. Oh, please be my bus. Oh, it's not in service. It's not a good sign. And it's a really weird feeling because, like, I kind of just want to get back, to be honest. Um, I'm glad that I did it. I'm glad that I, um, it sort of confirms that what I'm doing is the right thing. Like, I felt really comfortable. I felt really at home. I met some great people, um, just lovely people, um, who are really friendly and like, you know, oh, if you need any help, make sure you, you know, call me. And, uh, you know, like an estate agent who I didn't go with sent me like two job applications. I mean, that's great, you know, he doesn't need to do that. Um, you know, and the other guy who I did go with, he's like, if you need anything at all, you know, just make sure you call me out. Like, you know, like I'm, he's done his job. He's, you know, he's getting paid. He doesn't need to. Um, but yeah, for all their kind of abrupt sort of uh, ways, it's really it's just, they are just lovely people. And it is like just a real community feel. And I'm looking forward to going back. Um, but for now, I'm just going to finish my cigarette because I haven't had any nicotine for a really long time. I'm going to quit smoking in January, I think, when I move over. I'm going to quit. I quit. I quit for a year, actually. Um, and I vaped. But then there's all this stuff about vaping and people dying. And then there was also uh, my vaporizer broke and I couldn't get off, like, I couldn't travel, so I couldn't buy a new one. So then I just ended up getting cigarettes and it was a vicious circle, I know. But I will, be, I will quit again. I'll get back into it. I might start again with a vaporizer and, and get it done. Um, for now, I'm gonna go back, sit, give my dog a cuddle, and go to sleep. And I'll give an update when something happens. I'm back home, and I'm kind of glad to be back, I guess. It was cold. Um, journey was only like an hour, so it wasn't the end of the world. Um, I'm vaguely tired, but kind of not really tired. I've got too much going on in my head, really, I think. Um, instead, I've ended up going around and thinking, well, what am I going to take? Um, if I ship stuff over, I, I'm thinking it would probably be cheaper to ship than to buy stuff, actually. Um, so I'm going to phone a couple of companies tomorrow I think because I think I just need to know what I'm doing and have a, like now I know where I'm going to be I need to have a plan um, so that's what I'm going to do um, so I'm going around. it's not very much stuff it's like futon my grandfather's chair television coffee table bed that's about it. I've got a set of drawers. Um, I don't need them, but you know, it's probably a good place to start. Like that, I've got clothes rail as well. Maybe I'll take the clothes rail. It's nothing, you know. Um, just because why not? It probably doesn't cost much more to have a clothes rail that you take apart. Um, yeah. Um, so I suppose I, was, I think the, I think you need to get someone to come round and I do it, and I think it's worth having some because I'd be like, is it worth taking the coffee table? Is it worth taking this? Is it worth like taking that, or should I just leave it? You know, like coffee table. I can get a coffee table. I can go to the flea market and get a coffee table. It's kind of weird to be back because I'm just not sure if I'm glad to be home or not. It was, it was nice to see my dog and the cat. That was nice. Cats now asleep. Dogs now also asleep after a very excited welcome. Uh, yeah. 
I'm not asleep. Um, which is weird because it's like half past five in Tel Aviv at the moment, so it's half past three here. Um, yeah, just too much going on in my brain, really. And tomorrow I've got to get up because I've got work. <laughs> well, not tomorrow, like in like six hours or something. Not even that. Five hours or four, four, four and a half hours. I've got, I've got to go to work. And then I've got doctor appointment to get the stitches out of my back after my operation. And then I've got a consultant uh, appointment later on. So it's actually a vaguely busy day, if you, especially if you include all the uh, catch up I'm going to have to do for work. Um, so much forward to, but I am giving my notice as I mentioned. So, um, yeah, get lots to think about. Um, lots to think about. <laughs> so, I'm going to try and get some sleep, I think. Um, I'm going to phone them in the morning first thing. See if I can get them to come around and do a quote and find out what kind of time scales they need. Because it's not, you know, it's, it's just not a lot of stuff. So, also the problem, of course, is, is that it's kind of Christmas, New Year. But it might be that they just come. They might, I don't know if it takes two weeks, don't know if it takes four weeks. I just don't know how long it's going to take. Um, and I guess they won't know until they... Um, תעזוב הכל, התגבר לשוב הביתה, לא לחפש מקום אחר. הגיע הזמן להשתנות, גם אם פספסנו תחנות, אפשר להגיד.